Hello, welcome to Ed Foodie. Today we're gonna grill some corn on the cob in the husks out on the grill. And we're gonna do uh, three different flavors. Uh, the first one we're gonna try is kind of like a Mexican street corn. Then also we're gonna try an Italian spread, which is a little more mild, of course. And then I thought, hey, let's, I like the hot and spicy things. So let's do a hot wing and ranch um, spread and put on the corn. And uh, hopefully you like the results. So let's get started. So what I'm gonna do here is pull back the husks. And remove the silk and throw that away. You wanna remove as much of the silk as possible and pull down the husks as far as possible without tearing them off. Okay, that looks pretty good. You can use a brush if you want to. I just kind of picked off each one of these. And then we'll close the husks back up. We'll do the same thing to the, the other corn. And then I'm gonna set them in the sink with enough water to cover it. I'll put a little plate on top of the water to make sure it weighs it down so that it um, doesn't float. And then we'll let these soak in water for about 30 minutes. As you can see, uh, they're totally submerged in water. I may put a little bit more water in there. And we'll come back in a half hour once these have soaked good uh, so they won't burn when we put them on the grill. So for this corn on the cob, we're just going to do um, kind of like a Mexican street corn. I've got a quarter cup of my Mexican sour cream or crema mexicana. I'm just gonna pour that into a little, it's, it's a lot more liquidy than um, American style sour cream. I'm gonna put in a couple dashes, maybe a quarter teaspoon of Tabasco sauce. I've got some beer salt, a lime flavor. You could put in lime juice I guess, or maybe some lime uh, rind. I'm just gonna try this and see how this works. And if you ever had this before, it's uh, pretty strong. So I'm, I'm gonna do maybe an eighth of a teaspoon. And then what we'll do at the end, we'll, we'll sprinkle this instead of salt on, on the corn on the cob. Okay, we're gonna sprinkle in, again, maybe an eighth of a teaspoon of chili powder. And same, eighth of a teaspoon of uh, cumin. Let's add eighth of a teaspoon of onion powder. Now we're ready to just kind of smother the corn just like this would be uh, butter and we'll Pull the husks back up and put it on the grill. Now we're ready to spread our butter or our spread on it. So I pull back the husks and I'm just going to spread this on just like it's uh, butter. Okay, so I've got that all done. I'm gonna pull the husks back up. Now we'll do the other one. So now let's make an Italian butter and a buffalo ranch spread. I've got, I made two separate little spreads here. I've got a tablespoon of butter, softened butter in each one. And I think today, Let's see, the last one we made was kind of like Mexican street corn. So one of these, we're gonna do something like, 
a hot ranch wing sauce. So let, let's first, let's just put in uh, some salt and pepper to taste. I got, you know, maybe an eighth, eighth of a teaspoon of salt and maybe about the same pepper. Uh, I've just, I just picked one out of the store. I, I really don't eat hot wings, so I'm not, I wasn't sure what was the best brand. Um, I did taste this, it's pretty darn spicy. So I think I'm only gonna do about an eighth of a teaspoon, you know, a full eighth of a teaspoon. If you really like hot wings, you can put maybe a little bit more in. And stir that up. On the, on the butter or the spread, you, you know, whatever you think you like, it's, you can experiment a little bit. Um, I, of course, I'd always start with some salt and pepper, and I'm gonna add a little bit of onion powder to this, and a little bit of garlic powder. And that's probably gonna be a staple in all of them, so I'll go ahead and add that to the, my other one. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this other one yet. Um, so a couple examples I have here, if, you, if you're gonna do an Indian style, which I like Indian food, uh, you could sprinkle some garam masala in there or some um, coriander, ground coriander. Or curry powder. And of course, if you like Italian style, you can put in some Italian seasoning and basil and mix it in there with your salt and pepper. But on this hot wing, I'm gonna spread the, the, the corn with the butter and then I think, and cook it, and then at the very end, um, I'm gonna sprinkle some of this r powdered ranch dressing on top of it. Uh, I think that's gonna be really good. The two we've done so far are um, pretty hot and spicy, so for this one, I think let's just go ahead and do maybe an uh, Italian style. So I'm just gonna sprinkle in some uh, Italian seasoning And I'm gonna put a little bit of basil in there. There's probably basil in the Italian seasoning, but again, salt. A little bit of pepper. I'll get a separate spoon to stir this, so I don't want that hot sauce mixed in here. Okay, we got our corn cobs. Let's do the hot wing. Butter first. And I think I'm gonna change my mind. I'm gonna sprinkle this ranch dressing on here before we cook it. Again, this packet is for like a, to make a whole bottle of dressing. So you wanna go kinda easy condensed and strong. If you remember, I used that same stuff when I made um, these low carb cheese chips a few weeks ago. So I had this left over and I thought, oh, that'd be good on this corn. Okay, we got that finished. And now we'll, our other one, this will be our more mild. This will be our Italian. Yeah, like I said, you know, sky's the limit on what you can mix, what kind of butter you want to mix up. Um, be creative and think of some cool things you like, flavors you like, and try it out. All right, the grill should be hot, so let's go out and put them on the grill. All right, so I've got my grill nice and hot. I want to just toss these on here. Close the grill. All recipes of this corn will grill from 20 to 25 minutes. We're gonna keep rotating them about every five minutes. So it's one of these um, recipes that you have to stand close by the grill and keep a close eye on it. So we'll look at it in five minutes and turn it. 
Okay, it's been five minutes. I'll just turn these about a quarter of a turn. So yeah, you can see it's getting nice, nice and brown in there. So five minutes works just about right. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and bring them both in after just 20 minutes. Okay, so we brought them in from the grill. It's got a good smell to it. I let them cool off a little bit. I'm gonna pull off the rest of the husk. Use a knife to cut the ends off. All right, we're gonna just taste it just as it is and then we'll see if we wanna add a little bit more to it. I'm a little bit of afraid of that uh, lime beer salt. It was pretty strong. It's good, I'm gonna add a little bit more. Then if you want, you can always add a little bit of smoked paprika just to give it a little nice color. That's what it looks like when you buy it in a restaurant. And I'm gonna put Okay, I'll try that and then we'll let Catherine try. Mmm. Wow, yeah, that's really good. That uh, Mexican sour cream gives it a little bit of a sweetness and then that lime and yeah, really good, I like that. Catherine, you wanna try? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Is it good though? Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's Tabasco. I put a lot of Tabasco sauce in there. Mm. There's that beer salt got a lot of lime, so I didn't know if it was gonna be too much sour for you, but it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Mm. Mm. There you I go. Ed Foodie's version of Mexican street corn. When you cook the different styles of corn, be sure to remember which one's which. Um, I would have forgotten, but I, I can see the Italian spices on, on this one. So I'm going to spread the little bit left over that I have. I guess there's nothing stopping you from just cooking out on the grill and then spreading this, the butter on it afterwards. But I think cooking it on the grill probably gets those flavors soaked, soaked into the corn. Okay, so now for my hot wing, we'll do the same. I'll taste this and let you know if that eighth of a teaspoon was enough or can my taste buds stand a quarter teaspoon. So what I thought I would do also, um, when they serve hot wings at the restaurants, I know there's always like a little side of the ranch dressing and maybe some celery sticks. So let's go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of celery flakes. Uh, we could have done this, you know, before we put it on the grill too. I just happened to think of it. Or you could drizzle it with a little bit of ranch dressing. Just put a little drizzle on there. All right, let's. We'll do the Italian one first. Mm-hmm. 
I can't stop eating it when I start. I like that, that's good. But here's the one I'm really wanting to try, this hot wing. It is good, but I think I could actually take, um, when I'm making the butter, I could actually take a quarter teaspoon instead of an eighth, eighth of a teaspoon. Um, so with that in mind, let me spread just some straight hot sauce on it. Mm, now you're talking. <clears throat> yeah, woo, really good. Obviously my favorites were the two hotter, spicier ones and I actually like the street corn the best because I really enjoyed the uh, that crema mexicana it's, it's a little it's, it's a different taste than sour cream, and it just oh, it gives it a really, really good flavor. Um, now that I got so much <laughs> wing sauce on there, I need some ranch dressing on there to cool it off a little bit. Catherine will try the Italian. <laughs> and, and is it good? Yeah, it's just yeah, it's just average. Now try hot. This one kicked up a notch. Mm, <laughs> Do you taste the the ranch dressing at all? Mm-hmm. Do you? Okay. Yeah. All right. well, anyway, here you have it. There's three different ways uh, for grilled corn. I hope you enjoyed all of them. Uh, and you can, like I said, make up your own ideas, put them out there, and um, they're all going to be good. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and please subscribe to Ed Foodie right over here.